Good morning, West Ham fans. Um, I'm I, I'm gathering that you've you've heard the uh, the news that we've signed uh, Emerson Palmieri, uh, better known as just Emerson. Um, we have to do it. We we have to do it. Um, I think last week he he was asking for a, a pay rise to to um, to come to our club. Um, and at the time. We were we were in talks with PSG over um, Thiago Pereira, um, which which is another good signing. Um, so at that point, it looked like things were looking better. But after losing two 0 at home to Brighton, Brighton don't get me wrong, Brighton are a very decent team, um, but you can't you can't be getting beaten by teams that have just lost um, arguably their best players um, at home. Um, we've, you know, the I am really happy with the with the the board and the way, um, Gold and Sullivan are starting starting to do things. I think they're starting to realise, um, you have to invest to to see you, uh, um, uh, like return. If if you invest, you'll see a return on your investment. If you don't, if you don't, then we're we're just going to get relegated. Um. It was unfortunate with Aguerd, um needing ankle surgery after after a preseason game. Um, we sold Diop, so we had to fill that hole. Um, obviously, there's you can have five subs now, um, so you need a larger squad. If you're if you're playing a team and you 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 want to make like a double swap or a triple swap at sixty five minutes, if a player comes on and you know for for no fault of his own. You can you can say right, give him ten minutes, take him off. It's not working. As long as the gaffer shakes his hand as he's coming off, um, you know, so the the player doesn't lose face and he knows that it's a tactical sub. Um, you know, I think West Ham we're we're one of the teams that don't really utilize that much. But if you're if you um, if you don't have squad depth, then you can't. Um, and on Emerson's um, welcoming video that I watched a minute ago, players, uh, not players, fans are slightly worried that Cornet and uh, Scavaccia, they're not, they're not getting minutes. Um, but it's because they're not match fit, then they're, they're not 100%. They haven't trained with us for too long, so they will start seeing um, more, they will start seeing more minutes. Um but obviously, players like Kara, um, I, I just said to um, a guy in the West Ham fan chat, um, these these players aren't getting minutes. He he was thrown in on the first week. I think he played on the Thursday as well. But you know, within half an hour, he's given away a penalty. Oh, oh, you know, a terrible tackle. It was a two footed lunge, um, and it's lucky that the player wasn't hurt. Um, so. Players that come from foreign leagues, they have to have a little bit of time to get used to the pace of the Premier League. Um, but as far as as far as the signing of um, Emerson goes, fantastic. I I, I really really rate him. Um, as far as defenders go, he just knows his job. He's no nonsense, and he's got, he's already he's already worked um, with Zuma before. So now we've got. Um, Cresswell will be our reserve, so we've got left back, um, Emerson, uh, two centre backs, Dawson. Hopefully, he's not injured too long. Ogbonna is still coming back from from it. I think a year out, um, and then we've got Kufal and we've got Ben Johnson. So right now, I think we're 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 in the best spot, I think probably ever, and I think we've got a defence that can match. Any other teams in the Premier League now? Um, we've got we've got Aston Villa at the weekend. Uh, it's a side I I don't rate. Um, Coutinho is a great player, but apart from that, I think they've got they've got a lot of holes. Um, I don't think Tyrone Mings um, is is an all round player. Um, makes too many mistakes and he loses his head. And I, I think he lost his captaincy, so it's it's a it's a way um, we're away from home, but it's definitely a game I expect to see three points. Um, 
if 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 we get a draw, we get a draw. It's a point, and it starts starts going starts going up. But I I'm I'm really positive. The the players we need more from are players like Fornells, Ben Rama, and Lanzini. Um, ben Rama on his day is fantastic, but Moyes has to decide when it's his day, because if you put him on when he's not feeding it, it's it's, it's just a waste of time. Um, and Lanzini just needs to get in the mix more. Fornells has been quiet. I know he's um. He's a, he's a relatively new dad. Um, congratulations, Pablo. Um, which leads me on to Antonio. I really like Antonio. I think he's a workhorse. He he always really tries. My my dad's starting to lose patience. We're we're both West Ham fans, and it was my 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 dad and my granddad who actually got me into West Ham. Um, but if all the time you're putting. Antonio up top on his own, you you you've got a fifty percent chance of getting a goal, opposed to sticking someone next to him. Um, I'm really happy with the Cornet signing because he's left wing, um, so it'll stop pulling Antonio out. Because if Antonio's out getting the ball and crossing it in, and we've got one one striker, it's Antonio who who should be in the middle. You know that he's passing the ball to no one. So um, and Scamacca looks really good, um, you know. Never, never scared. Uh, it, it bullet header. He almost scored against City from the penalty spot with a header, um, and that's that was against Edison. So that's that's really good. <coughs> um, Suchek, he's he he's like um, he's made the expectations for himself really difficult and he just needs to p play the game he just needs to play his game because we paid i think 15 million for him and when he arrived at west ham he hit, he hit the ground running um you know he got like five goals he was setting up goals um he's taken some nasty knocks on the head but he's um he's a real he's a real warrior he's a w real champion um so I think we've just got to work on getting his confidence up, and I think the same same for Bowen. Um, as so, as soon as these players get a goal, they're they're unstoppable. But so may, maybe we um, it's it's a bit like Anthony Joshua, you know. We need like a, a mental conditioning coach um, because these these players, you know, look at what we've look at what we've achieved in the last couple of seasons. Um, a couple of bad games, um, it, it, it will turn it around. I think uh, Rice Rice has played really well against City, played fantastic. Um, but any any team that plays Man City this season is, is going to struggle. They're, they've just got the, the biggest squad depth. Every player on their bench is £60 million. So you, you just got to do what you can do. But in terms of... Um, my confidence for this season and my my happiness rating as a West Ham fan currently, yeah, I'm I'm really happy. I'm really happy with um, Moyes and the board, and uh, yeah, we we've just got to be patient. We've got to stick together, um, and uh, yeah, no no protests like uh, like at Man U at the moment because uh, all it's doing is unsettling their own team. Um, It'll be interesting to see how um, how they turn it around after their, their brilliant win against Liverpool. But Liverpool without Mane doesn't look the same. All right, well, I'll leave it there. And, uh, yeah, like and sub, and I'll post more videos like this. And uh, if you agree, uh, that's great. If you disagree, let, let me know. Let me know in the comments, and um, we, we can have a chat about it. All right, I'm Scott. Thank you for watching. Like and sub, and uh, yeah, I'll be back soon.